Hey guys, Lady Eloquin here again with some more AC4 deathmatch. And today we are playing on one of my favorite maps, Santa Lucia, only coming in second next to Portobello. <laughs> That's my map right there. That is fucking bench kill heaven right there. <laughs> Anywho, so this is like a semi competitive game. We've got um, the Night Stalker uh, and who else is. The other one, uh, the Wayfair, and he's pretty good. I forget their names, so I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, I do make a few mistakes in this game, but I definitely bounce back a little bit later, and it is totally worth it. And I'm gonna kind of embarrass myself here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna fucking die to the <laughs> the totally obvious booby trap. But um, hold on, I'll just let it play out first. <laughs> Yep, I totally just did that. <laughs> as soon as I killed it, I was like, wait, it's not this one, it's the other one. And I was like, oh shit, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll make up for it a little bit later. So now we've got the Lady Black as a target, and I'm like freaking out because I didn't see her for a second. So I'm trying to sit on the bench. This dude is in my way, though. And luckily, the guy next to me is her target. So I end up getting a nice bench kill. Um... If I had known that uh, the Buccaneer was her target, though, I would have stayed at the bench and sat there some more to kind of maybe get a half focus. Um, but that's okay. Points are points. <laughs> and here, I totally fucked up. So I thought the mercenary was going to come towards me. So, you know, I did that to try to get a grab kill. And I accidentally fell off and got murdered. How nice. <laughs> Um, I did play another game with these guys. Um, there was a previous game and we played on prison. Um, I came in third in that one. Um, I was going to post it. I don't know if I will. Not like, oh, I didn't win, so I'm not going to post it. No, I don't care about that. I'm just not sure that it was like... I don't know. I don't know about it. Uh, if you guys want me to upload it, I certainly will. But um, just let me know. Anywho, so... I was trying to get a bench kill on the fucking physician. And I guess because somebody bumped him and ran into him as he was stunned, he got out of the animation. So I was pissed. I was waiting for like a nice, you know, bench kill. Shit, even though I already got one, I wanted another one. <laughs> so at this point I heard whispers, so I was like, fuck it, run. I know it's the, uh, the Night Stalker, I believe it was, and I accidentally fell into the hay bale. I so thought I was fucked. I'm like, oh, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. And, um, yeah, I saw... Don't worry, I saw the Lady Black over there. I was just trying to get away from my pursuer. Um, because I didn't want him to kill me at all, actually. <laughs> so there he goes again. So I'm like, okay, I'll use uh, crackers. And he jumped up there. I was so grateful. I wasted my knives and my crackers, but at least uh, the cutthroat killed him. So thank you. <laughs> I'm safe at last. And I got nervous that she would pop out and stun me because I thought she knew. Well, she knew that I was already her pursuer because I was running like an asshole, so <laughs> I just have to take what I could get. And you see guys, I'm learning. Like, you'll see it a lot in this game that um, for the times where I can't sit there and get a really nice kill, I'll just rush it, like right now. Um, I heard the whispers were really loud, so instead of waiting for the cutthroat to enter the blend group um, and get a focus and stuff, and the physician was right there, I just um, I took what I could get. And that's really something I've learned a lot of. Um, and I'm also learning how to time my abilities more correctly. Um, here I probably should have just ran away. Um, but I'm higher on the podium than the Buccaneer, so I just let him kill me. <clears throat> and, um, what was I saying? Right, so I'm learning how to time my abilities better. I, um, I was watching a an archived stream of Nova Mage, because I was testing out, by the way, uh, update uh, 3.0 came out for PlayStation today, 
so I was kind of dicking around with that before I made this video and um, I was looking at past videos and I missed a stream that Nova Mage did earlier I think he did it today or was it yesterday I can't remember um, so I wanted to see if it was archived but I found a different one instead and he was kind of explaining um, how to use uh, certain abilities and stuff and saying that um, you don't want to disguise in the beginning of the game because there's actually less NPCs and it's easier for uh, your pursuers and targets to pick you out. So I was like, okay, that makes sense. And then he was saying, like, save your abilities, even though I didn't do it just then. <laughs> he was like, use your abilities before you use uh, your disguise. So when your abilities are like on a 20 second cooldown, and you've already crafted your disguise for 20 seconds uh, you just wait for it to come back up you pop your disguise by the time your disguise runs out hopefully um, you've got your abilities back so you just kind of have a constant flow of abilities which is cool so I'm trying to implement that into my uh, playstyle so as you can see I'm watching a lot of his videos actually <laughs> so you know I'm not gonna say I'm amazing I noticed that uh, puppeteer at the last second by the way um, but I'm trying my best, you know what I mean? I'm having fun doing it. I'm learning the right things to do and the wrong things to do, so that's good. Um, I had no idea that that guy was there. And I was pissed. I was like, oh shit, he fucking passed me on the podium. So I need to get a good kill. Uh, the Night Stalker's there. He's also really close to me on the podium. So I just want to starve him out a bit. You know, good old point starving. <laughs> um, I know the Cutthroat is the front in that blend group because... He always goes there. <laughs> so I just kind of want to get away from my pursuer at this point. Hopefully kind of drag him out and um, get him killed by his pursuer. I thought he was disguised as that puppeteer for a moment. And sorry, my phone vibrated. Who is it? Oh. Um, and then I noticed this mercenary here. I should not have gotten this, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I don't think he knew what he was doing. Maybe I really just legitimately got it. I don't know. I doubt it. And then at the last second, I saw the physician. I assumed that he was trying to get a focus on me, and that's how I got the stun off of him. Because I'm pretty sure he saw me. And this is the dickhead who poison darted me before, you bastard. <laughs> and then I got nervous. I knew it was the buccaneer at the last second, and I was pissed. I was like, fuck, I tried to run away. <laughs> I tried to run away, and he ripped my throat out. That's not nice. How do you treat a lady like that, you dick? <laughs> Alright, so now we're after, what is this, the Wayfair. And I really want to kill him. I got nervous because I couldn't see him. So I backed out a little bit. Um, I really want to kill him because he's uh, close to me on the podium. He knifed me for whatever reason. So I was like really wary. I assumed that he had like crackers or a time phase or something. So I'm waiting for it. And he didn't. So I don't know why he wasted a knife on me. That was weird. But I got the kill. So that's good. And now this is like... This is, this is why I love this game. This is why it's so much fun. And I knew that he comes to, the, he, he comes to this blind group all the time. So I just kind of waited, you know. Just waited for a nice kill. <laughs> and I poached um, the Wayfair, because that's who that is. I taunted him. <laughs> that was great. It was awesome. I was so excited. I was like, oh, incognito and all that shit. It was so good. At this point, I had no idea where the hell... Uh, Lady Black was at. She was up there again. <laughs> Shit. And I tried to knife her so I could go get a, a grab kill and the fucking cutthroat was pissed that I killed him for 1100 points. <laughs> and he decided to get revenge. <laughs> that sucks. If I had gotten that grab kill, I might have gotten greater variety. Uh, not have been good. Or not greater variety. I don't know if I got variety in this game already. I think I did. Anywho, so we're chasing the uh, physician. I hear whispers, so I'm just out. I figure that I'm going to get killed, so I rush him. And that's what I was saying before. I'm doing that more often. I'm not trying to get every single kill to be, you know, a thousand point kill. Because you're just wasting time at that point. You know, I'm trying to go for, like, at least a thousand points a minute. I'm not doing that yet, but I'm trying. <laughs> but, um... Definitely, if it takes you like five minutes to get a thousand point kill, there's no point really. 
You know what I mean? And that screen, though, that line of sight, though, I saw that shit. <laughs> I was so hyped. I was like, I fucking know it's you. He was probably mad. <laughs> so I'm just locking the cutthroat here. He was my pursuer a lot, so just making sure. I thought it was a physician for a second, and I couldn't see the, the mercenary for a minute. I didn't know where he was at. <laughs> Some characters just blend, you guys. Like, you never fucking know where they're at. And we definitely took the lead. I did a little dino walk. <laughs> I like doing that now. When I'm winning, I'm just going to dino walk. <laughs> so I knifed him just to kind of keep him away. And then the last couple seconds, definitely got a sprint off. <laughs> he tried to grab kill me right there. I'm glad I got away. He missed a shot and then knifed me. But that's okay. Game over. And I win. How awesome was that? <laughs> So there you go guys, that's the end of the match. I hope you enjoyed. Do leave a comment and a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!